What's going on, Attacker Squad? It's your boy, Roman, aka Mr. Anime343, and today, I want to try something a little bit different. That, you know, I would love to actually give my thoughts on a certain Netflix anime I've been watching. Of course, a friend of mine over on Twitter actually suggested this, so... Jose, thank you for actually recommending this. I really do appreciate it, my dude. And, uh, basically, I'm actually at the episode 5 of this... And I'm really just enjoying it so far. <laughs> now you probably might be curious, Mr. Anime, what anime are you talking about exactly? I am talking about a really graphical anime called High Rise Invasion. Basically, this is actually a battle royale type setting where the combatants are actually trying to are trying to actually fight to the death. To actually see who becomes the god of the of the dimension that they're a part of. But, of course, they're actually being hunted down by masks. There's, you know, the happy masks, the neutral masks, and then the frowny masks. And each mask has a different, has a different, um, objective. Basically, if you want out and don't want to actually be targeted by these masks, you just actually have to Minecraft yourself. It's a little graphic, I know. It's not to everybody's taste like redo a healer. I'm still going to freaking defend that, okay? Do not judge me. That's all I ever asked for. But beyond that... I'm actually up to the fifth episode, and I'm, I gotta say, I'm pretty hooked. Freaking snag me, hook, line, and sinker. And, oh man. The, the amount of uh, stuff that they actually included in the series is just absolutely mwah, perfect. I mean, don't get me wrong. People really should learn to just let anime be anime. Different tastes for different people. And yet these like Twitter Puritans, they don't understand that. They just actually see anime as like being objectified as so-called... Uh, objects to, uh, and I quote, excuse me, I'm trying to talk here, but <coughs> I had something caught in my throat. They actually see it as objects for the toxic male gaze, mind you. And <sighs> the toxic male gaze is just nothing more than just a pathetic, petty excuse for feminists. Along with white privilege, white supremacy, all this crap that's been saying about like SJWs and leftists, they do not understand the concepts of owning up to something or, you know, letting sleeping dogs lie. No. Basically, if you wake a dog, you're going to get... If you're actually waking a dog and he's in a bad mood, you're bound to get bit. Straight up. I mean... Oh, don't get me wrong. People really need to be respectful of anime. It was actually created from a country that was intentionally making it for the Japanese audience first. Then they exported it for us anime fans. And I'm actually willing to actually say. As a respectful anime fan myself. I don't find anything wrong with being an anime fan. I had nothing against anime in general. It's just these freaking puritans. Weed guilts. And fake fans. That are just pandering. Pandering mind you. 
to these freaking crazed leftist SJWs over on social media, over on Facebook. All because, you know, they're looking for something to freaking flip off about. It's like, you know, their go-to source. Anime permitted to... Pedophilia. Oh, really? Why don't you actually freaking back up what you're trying to say? Here's the thing. People really need to learn to differentiate fiction from reality. Lines on a piece of paper do not equal age. Fiction. Fiction, mind you. Reality is... This, we're living in reality, what happens in a story is fictional. It doesn't work like that. There's no correlation whatsoever. <sighs> or, you know, certain anime will actually make you a white supremacist. Uh, hello, I'm actually a mixed blood here. In fact, I'm not... Trying to push narratives or anything like that. I'm just totally against SJWs and the NPC nonsense. I usually, well, I usually like to take uh, the so-called social justice weirdos from Journey from Geeks and Gamers. So shout out to him. But we all need to learn to actually be respectful of the country that made anime. Now. It's like what my friend D&D Girl, a.k.a. Sims Girl Gem, she said that the Japanese are actually Schrodinger's white. <sighs> Seriously, if, if it actually really bothers you that much, like <gasps> like the Karate Kid spinoff on Netflix, uh, Cobra Kai, that's actually where Schrodinger's white comes in. Because they don't actually have any, like, Asian representation in the series and having an Asian protagonist or anything like that. Oh, God. I swear. Social media and the internet are biggest mistakes ever. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. You know, also, if you actually really enjoy this content and you want to see more of this, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And just remember these three things, guys. Respect the waifus. Enjoy your fandoms. Anime is freedom. Until the next one, this is Mr. Anime343 saying, Sorry, everyone.